Hey guys, today is Monday, June 13th. I'm currently 45 days post-op radio form foul pussy. Um, so last Friday was my six week mark, which was very exciting. Um, normally uh, radio form foul pussy has about an eight to 12 week recovery time. So I'm almost at the finish line, about maybe 50 to 75% on the way there. Um, I would say that my arm will probably be the only thing that's gonna keep me from you know doing normal activities or going back to work. But other than my arm, uh, I would say my penis and my leg have been healing pretty well. Um, for this video, I'm gonna talk specifically about um, urinating with the phallus once the catheter uh, came out. So actually yesterday was the first time I used a urinal um, in public for the first time, so that was very exciting. Um, I no longer have a fistula that closed up about three days after I had my super pubic catheter taken out. I simply just placed my finger uh, at the bottom of my phallus where the fistula was when, uh, whenever I urinated. And then about three days after I got my catheter out, uh, the fistula ended up closing. Uh, so I was very happy about that. I no longer had to worry about making a mess when going to the bathroom. Sometimes um, when I urinate, it does hurt a little bit. Um, kind of like a stinging feeling and then like a soreness feeling um, whenever I urinate. But that does seem to go away um, the later in the day it gets. It's usually more like in the morning. Um, to help with that, I have been taking, I have been drinking cranberry juice every day. Um, and then also limiting like any soda or alcohol just because I feel like that could add to the, um, the stingingness that happens um, whenever I urinate. Um, as far as the actual peeing, it does take me maybe about five minutes to go to the bathroom. Um, I don't really have a strong stream yet, um, so it's very, very um, light and then um, a lot of like big drops that come out. So it does take me a while to empty my bladder. Um, and then sometimes I find too that it is hard to empty my bladder, meaning that I feel like I go to the bathroom, but I'm not getting everything out. So I end up having to go again, maybe like 30 minutes later. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but I feel like the longer I continue to urinate with my phallus, the easier it'll get. Um, and also just getting used to using your bladder muscle again after having the catheter in for about a month. Um, you definitely have to get used to doing that again. There are some times too when I'm urinating um, where I feel like I'm done, like done like pushing or um, using the, the muscle in the bladder, uh, but then urine continues to come out for maybe about like a minute more that could be too because I don't have full sensation yet in my phallus, so I'm not feeling the urine travel. Um, but you just have to make sure you're aware of that because you don't want to finish so fast and then you end up urinating a lot like in your underwear or anything like that. What I do use is either like a gauze pad or like folded up toilet paper and I put it at the tip of my phallus when putting it back in my underwear just in case there is some extra leakage. It doesn't get on my underwear or my clothes. Um, I do find that being very helpful um, and I change that you know every time I go to the bathroom. Another thing when urinating that I do feel kind of odd is when I do urinate um, due to the urethral lengthening and me not having full sensation of my penis yet um, I only feel the urine going up until the part of where my old urethra ended and then the new one the new uh, connection starts. So when I go to the bathroom, it feels like I'm kind of like just peeing on myself and not feeling it come out of my penis at all. Um, so it's definitely a weird feeling thinking that um, it's not coming out, uh, but it definitely does come out. You just have to wait a couple seconds um, after that sensation um, and then ends up coming out of the phallus. So that is definitely um, a sensation that's kind of weird and you definitely have to get used to it. I haven't heard anyone mention that, so I don't know if it's maybe just me or no one has talked about it. Um, but it's definitely very, very interesting and it kind of makes me think that, you know, maybe no, nothing is going to come out or maybe it's going to come out another area other than the tip of the phallus. Um, but so far it seems just to be the normal thing for right now as I don't have full sensation yet and I'm not feeling the actual urine go through the whole urethra just to where um, my old one ended. If you are interested in any pre or post op pictures, I do have those posted on Patreon as well as videos and other exclusive posts not found anywhere else on social media. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below. Um, feel free to also check out my Instagram. I put the um, Instagram handle down below as well. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, I wanted to thank all of you for watching my videos and then all of my new subscribers. 
Um, once I hit 200 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. I haven't decided yet what it's going to be, um, but I'll, I'll think about it and then let you guys know in my next video. So again, thank you for watching.